Everybody, we are officially live once again. How are we all doing? Welcome, welcome to you all. Wait, we are live, are we? I think we are. Yeah, here we go. Six viewers. For some reason, my stream deck is doing crazy things, but let me get settled up. Oh, remove the sound. How are we all guys doing? Welcome back to another live stream, my friends. Welcome back. How is the sound? How is the sound? Hello, everybody. Hello, Pocket Watch. Hello, History Inside a Nutshell. Dragon Star Productions. Hello, how are we all doing, my friends? Welcome all to a new live stream and a uh, special live stream when it comes to that. Um, yesterday marks a uh, hundred fifty years ago um, that the RMS Atlantic, a White Star liner, sank in a very tragic um, way. So this dream is basically, <coughs> excuse me. This is a stream to basically uh, talk about the ship, uh, about the story, her life, and just to remember her. Because, of course, it's a very uh, tragic story. Um, I got, of course, some um, information of the ship, which I will read to you, um, as well uh, as some books about the ship, and I have quite a few uh, which I want to share with you guys, um, which will add a grand uh, book to your collection. So, yes, hello everybody. Yes, the SS Atlantic, Mr. Derek. So, if you have any thoughts or comments, please ask away in the, uh, in the chat. Um, yeah, so let's basically uh, begin. So let me get uh, my presentation ready. Uh, by the way, uh, the pictures of the ship that I'm about to show you, uh, these are pictures of the new, uh, these are pictures of a model, the new model uh, used in the video of the SS Atlantic by Tom Linsky. Uh, he gave me permission to uh, make some screenshots of the video uh, that I could use in the stream, so we have a little bit more of visuals. Um, but yes, so let's begin. Uh, Mr. Saturn Gaming, what book? Uh, I have many books about the ship, uh, Mr. Saturn Gaming, which I will show you all in a bit. So, uh, let's see. Here we are. And I will show you this. So this is a painting of the uh, SS Atlantic. Now, if we quickly talk about... Oh, oh by the way, as well, uh, let me know if uh, my mic is not too close to, the, uh, to my mouth. Because in the other stream, I noticed that the mic was a little bit too close to my mouth. But um, let's begin... Uh, Sorry. So now if we quickly talk about the specifications of the ship. She was owned by the White Star Line, as I said. And she was built by the famous shipyard Holland and Wolf. Now she was one of the four Oceanic class liners. Now the gross tonnage of this liner would be 3.70... 707 gross registered tons, uh, with her length being 128.4 meters and with a beam of 12.4 meters. Now, when it comes to her power, she had one propeller and she had sails. Now, of course, uh, when it comes to steam, 
the SS Atlantic. Um, she was a pretty, in her time, let's say, steam was pretty new. So just in case if uh, a propeller, for example, broke down or something else, they had uh, the sails ready to be used like we can see in this picture right here. Um, again, this is a model used in the newest video about the SS Atlantic of Mr. Tom Linsky. An amazing video. Uh, but yes, again, here we can see the sails of the ships, of the ship, sorry, in uh, her full glory. Uh, her sister ship sank. Derek, I'm sorry, which sister ship are we talking about? Uh, just curious. So, the vessel, she would be launched on 26 November 1870. Now, she sailed for New York City on her maiden voyage on 8 June 1878. For her return trip on 1 July 1887, she was advertised for all classes as being unrivaled in safety, speed and comfort. She carried surgeons and stewardesses. Oh, <laughs> surgeons, yes. Uh, the Atlantic completed 18 crossings with no problems, other than a minor incident on August the 23rd, 1878, when she was hit by the SS Alexandria. Uh, is, let me see if I have a other picture of the ship right here. Uh, no, we're going to use this picture for this moment right now. <clears throat> now we're going to straight on move um, to her uh, final voyage. Uh, on 20 March 1873, Atlantic departed on her 19th voyage from Liverpool with 952 passengers on board, of whom eight, eight, 838, sorry, my English is not the best, uh, were passengers, and 14 were stowaways. En route, because of heavy seas and strong headwinds slowing their progress. The captain, Captain James Williams, became concerned that they would run out of coal for the boilers. Now again, uh, steam was pretty new in the time. So, um, with one propeller, it was a risk. Um, so here we can see a picture of the SS Atlantic uh, during some pretty heavy seas. Um, again, so the captain, Captain James Williams, was concerned, excuse me, uh, my English is not the best, about uh, the call. Uh, and he was afraid that they would run out of call for the boilers before reaching New York. They, in fact, had more than enough remaining fuel. But the ship's engineer, Mr. Foxley, had purposely on had been purposely underreporting coal reserves to increase the margin of error in favor of safety. He gave an estimate to the captain that there were 129 tons of coal remaining, when at least... 140 tons would have been needed for two days sailing to New York. Now, what basically happened, uh, they went, uh, what the captain did, he went to Halifax uh, in order to uh, refuel of the coal, of course. Um, so he went there and he decided, the captain, to divert to Halifax, Nova Scotia to again refuel on the coal. Um, and it was a common practice for ships low on coal reserves to call there. Although this was the first time that a White Star ship had attempted to do so. 
uh, none of the ship's mates had any first-hand knowledge of the approaches to Halifax Harbor. Now here again we have a picture of the SS Atlantic in some worse weather, uh, we can say. Um, and if we look at a picture, of course, uh, we are used to look at ships like the SS, uh, SS, hear me talk, the RMS Titanic. Um, but as we can clearly see, the SS Atlantic was, of course, way smaller. Um, so it would have been frightful in such a ship with pretty high waves. Um, so yes, I have a script right here, but if my English, uh, in my, if my English uh, is confusing you, I'm not from England. Uh, I'm Dutch, or I'm an Italian who lives in the Netherlands. So if my English is a little bit rusty, I'm sorry, but uh, I hope you can all follow and uh, understand. Now, if you have any comments or thoughts uh, in this live stream, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, please ask. Or please ask, sorry. Um, so yes, at 3.15 a.m. local time on 1 April 1873, the Atlantic struck a underwater rock. Golden Rule Rock, to be exact, of Mars Head. Right here. We can see a picture of the model of the SS Atlantic um, crashing on the rock. So right here is the rock and the SS Atlantic is crashing uh, on top of it. Right here I have another picture from behind. Uh, Pocket Wash says, oh yes, I can understand. Your English is not bad at all. Thank you so much, Pocket Watch. Um, Mr. Beluge or Beluga, I hope I said your name correctly, sir. 3 uh, a.m. Would a, <laughs> a horrible time indeed. Um, indeed. Would, uh. So here again, we can see the SS Atlantic crashing against uh, the rocks. So, um, when it comes to lifeboats, of course, they would be launched. Um, but with the heavy waves, what would happen is that the lifeboats, of course, would smash against the ship with so, f so much force that all the occupants of the lifeboats uh, would sadly uh, perish. Which is uh, quite sad. Um... So the ship quickly uh, filled with water and particularly capsized. As you can see here. So as we can see here, the ship is already lasting a, a little bit to uh, her side. Uh, 11 people in the chat. Thank you so much for joining as we remember uh, the shipwreck of the SS Atlantic. Which yesterday, which yesterday, sorry, sank uh, 150 years ago. Which is crazy, 150 years ago. Um, so yes, again, here we can see that the SS Atlantic is uh, leaning quite a bit. Um, at least... Uh, 535 people died, leaving only 429 survivors. Now, the ship's manifest indicates that of the 952 on board, 156 were women and 189 were children. And what is quite shocking, at least to me, is that not even one woman of uh, not even one woman on board the ship survived which is quite shocking not even one woman that's quite sad and of the children only one boy survived and he was 12 years old john hitley which is quite sad and this right here is a old uh, vintage painting 
of the sinking of the SS Atlantic. So, of course, uh, when the ship was sinking, all the lights went out. So, that must have been extremely terrifying. Of course, hearing the ship run on ground, the hearing of uh, the sound of metal creaking, and of course, you were, you are awakened. Um, to then come out of your cabin with no lights out or no lights on and coming up on deck in just pure chaos. So that is uh, quite tragic. Now, of course, uh, with none of the lifeboats surviving uh, the sinking, all the people, of course, they would go to the bow, as we can see. Oh, no! As we can see on the painting right here. Uh, now, some survivors, or some survivors, some villagers of Nova Scotia, um, they noticed that, or the SS Atlantic was sinking, because uh, on board the Atlantic they would, of course, fire fireworks to indicate their distress. Um, so, as we can see again in the painting right here, villagers, they came to the rescue and of course the question was uh, how would we save the people on board? Now, what happened was, is they threw uh, a line or a line was cast out, as we can see right here, to one side of the island to the ship and as we clearly can see uh, passengers they would start climbing towards uh, the rocks which have been which must have been terrifying with all the waves bashing against the ship uh, I didn't realize how dangerous it was in the lifeboats oh James it was uh, it was terrible again as we can see in the painting right here the seas are rough um, so it would have been impossible for any lifeboat to um, to reach safety. Uh, rest in peace, SS Atlantic passengers and crews and captain. Indeed, indeed, Derek. Here we have a uh, over picture of the sinking. Uh, again, uh, for the people who just joined, these are screenshots of. Uh, a video made by Tom Linsky, which goes in excellent detail uh, in the story of the SS Atlantic, which I will leave a link uh, in the description after the stream so you can check it out yourselves. So, um, Beluga says, this disaster could have been avoided. And so, as the Arctic and La Borongue disaster, I hope I read it collecti, correctly, Mother Nature, what have you done? It's quite sad. Uh, as, well, as well that uh, the sinking of the SS Atlantic is considered to be one of the worst uh, sinkings of the, uh, of the White Star Line. Justin says, I forgot that the ship listed to one side, so most of the lifeboats would have been useless, right? Indeed, and that's a fact, that's a fact, uh, factor as well, uh, Justin. Very good eyes. Um, so yes, here we can see a picture of the uh, SS Atlantic after uh, the sinking. So, um, are you seeing this, guys? Because my screen is doing something very strange. It's showing black, but I hope you can see. Let me see. Oh, yes, you can see. So, this right here, this is the wreck of the SS Atlantic right here. So, it's quite sad, right? It's, uh, it's a tragedy. Now, when it comes to the sinking, there is one story that stuck with me. And that is the story of uh, Mrs. Bateman. 
Now, like I said, uh, not one woman survived of the sinking. Uh, not even one woman survived. Um, but the death of Mrs. Uh, Bateman is quite a, a tragic one. Hard to contrast the color, but good view, indeed. Captain Alex, buongiorno mio amico. This is something to remember, despite being April the 2nd. Indeed, my friend. So, I tried to get a picture when it comes to uh, Mrs. Rosa Bateman, but tragically, or sadly, I couldn't find one. So, give me all one small second whilst... Uh, I find a picture. Yes, right here. So, this is from the video uh, of uh, Tom Linsky, which again, I will leave a link to after the stream. The terrifying wreck of the SS Atlantic. Now, this whole video, as you can see, is pretty long. And if you watch this video, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it's quite a gruesome story. But that is how the story was. Quite um, tragic. So... Sit well. Oh, the sound. With them. He mustered up a boat crew. Or Let me... There we go. So, um, here... Sadly, this was uh, Mrs. Rosa Bateman. Now, what they did whilst the ship was sinking, uh, Mrs. Rosa Bateman and two other people, they climbed to the mast. Uh, and the mast is right here, if I can get a picture again. I'm sorry if this stream comes over very... Um, Mixed, that's the right word, mixed. But I hope you are all, all, are all enjoying it. April the 2nd is the day that the, that the Titanic was on her sea trials. Indeed, uh, Belunga. So I can let show you it from right here. Um, so during the sinking, of course, uh, what they did is that uh, again two people and mrs rosa bateman they climbed up to the mast to escape the waves uh, and when all the people on the lower decks were uh, leaving the ship who were still alive they were still up to the mast and what uh, the officer and the other passenger did is that they tied Mrs. Rosa Bateman to one of these masts. Uh, sadly though, when it was finally their time to be uh, rescued, Mrs. Rosa Bateman was uh, sadly passed. And uh, that's quite tragic. I don't know why, but that story... Uh, stuck with me so i won't show you this too long because of course it's uh, quite sad but uh, this is sadly uh, mrs rosa baseman too many petticoats they were afraid she would sink if she got put into the water or even bashed against the waves uh, justin so yeah, again, I don't know why this particular story stays in my mind, but um, it's quite sad. So yes, we shall remove ourselves from that sadly, uh, from the sad picture. And now with most, mostly um, the historic factors of the ship away, it's time to um talk about how i got to know the liner <laughs> um so 
I don't know how you guys got to know about the SS Atlantic. So please let me know in the uh, in the chat how you guys got to know about the disaster. So um, how I got to learn about the SS Atlantic disaster um, was by Mr. Thomas Linsky, who was a former member of the, tiny, of the uh, Titanic Honor and Glory crew. Thank you so much, James, for the uh, for that nice comment. I try, uh, I try my best. Um, but this is how I got to know about the story of the Atlantic um, by Mr. Tom Linsky, who now has the YouTube channel Part Time Explorer. And I have watched this video so many times: the wreck of the SS Atlantic. Uh, this is the first one he did about the disaster three years ago. Nine or no, sorry, 1.9 million uh, views. That's the right word, views. And of course, this one is a newer version of the disaster. But with so much more information. Because, of course, we got to know so much about the SS Atlantic from years or uh, from three years ago um, so that is why he made this newer version which you should all check out once again uh, the terrifying wreck of the SS Atlantic um, so with that out of the way uh, I also have some books about the, the about the disaster um, because when I watched the, the video of Tom Linsky, I was like, I need to gather as much information as possible about uh, the ship, about her tragic story. So I have them all here, right down here, right down here below, below me. Uh, and in total, I have five books which uh, shed a little bit light about uh, the uh, about this about the disaster of the uh, SS Atlantic. Uh, my favorite ship, says Derek, is the RMS Titanic and the SS Atlantic. The RMS Titanic is one of my favorites too, um, Derek. But if I show you... Ah, here we are. This is the first book I got about the uh, disaster of the SS Atlantic. And this was one of uh, the only ones which actually focused uh, on the wreck. Excuse me, on, the, on her story. And this book is called, I don't know if you can read it. Oh, you can. Oh, that's excellent. Um, the SS Atlantic, the White Stars Light, the SS Atlantic, the White Stars uh, First Disaster at Sea. Now, it's been written by uh, Greg Chukov, I hope I said his name correctly, and Bob Chuck. And this is the book right here. I don't know if you, some of you, have this book in your collection or uh, have ever heard of this book uh, yes there we go um, but it's an amazing read for sure Mr. Pocket Watch says his favorite ship is the lesser known one called the Frederick the fifth from 1913 I hope I said the name correctly um, but if we go to the back, um, it's a calm night on board. A ship streams towards port or steams towards port. Wealthy passengers enjoy their luxurious accommodations. Passengers in steerage sit in crowded berths, excited about starting a life in a new country. And suddenly 
There is an ear splitting noise and the ship shudders to a violent stop. The ship is plunged into darkness. This was the fate of the SS Atlantic, the second ship built by the White Star Line, constructed 42 years before the RMS Titanic. The SS Atlantic completed 18 transatlantic crossings before running aground off the coast of Nova, of Nova Scotia on, on April 1st, 1873. The worst transatlantic marine disaster for, of the 19th century. The sinking of the Atlantic killed over half of nearly a thousand people on board. Here for the first time is the complete story of this infamous event, complete with passenger lists, inquiry results and the final fate of the wreck. Now a popular destination for uh, scuba divers. Scuba, scuba divers. Now, if I remember correctly, this uh, book actually won a uh, award. I'm trying to get it into frame. Um, here it is. Uh, it actually won a reward, I think. Uh, Mr. Belunga says he doesn't have the book yet. Um, get it. It's an amazing addition to your collection. Um, but yes. Again, an amazing book. I've read, read it uh, several times. And I... Uh, it's quite a story how I got this book. Because um, for some reason it's so expensive on Amazon and Amazon UK. And I rem remember looking at a um, page of the White Star Line about their history and stuff. And they also had a book, book section. And I found this book for just 50 euros. So I was like, yes, I'm buying this. And now it's in my collection. But again, this book, the SS Atlantic, the White Star Line's first disaster at sea is an amazing addition to your collection. So that is book number one, which I have. Again, in total, there's four that I actually have about a ship, about a disaster. So bear with me. Yes. So this is a second book that I have about the disaster. And this one is called Falling Star by John P. Eaton and uh, Charles A. Haas. Now, I don't have a cover picture, sadly, but this is the title of the book. And uh, it's basically a book about the most uh, all the shipwrecks of the White Star Line and of course the Atlantic was owned by the White Star Line so she has a chapter in this book again it's called um, The Falling Star by John P. Eaton Charles A. Haas um, so uh Yes, it has a chapter and uh, you get to learn a little bit about the SS Atlantic. Um, you get some amazing paintings, some pictures about the sinking. Um, so yes, it's a very nice addition to have um, in your, uh, in your um, collection. So yes. Thank you so much, Pocket Watch, for joining the stream, my, fang, my friend. Mr. Derek says, Mr. Jamie, I'm building lifeboats on the RMS Titanic. How cool. And Captain Alex says, we should have a 
SS Atlantic game, similar to Hogwarts Legacy, what do you think of this idea? I think it would be very cool um, to have a kind of simulation where we can experience for ourselves how the sinking was. Um, but it needs to be done right. It needs to be done right. And I remember very faintly that uh, during the early days of Titanic Honor and Glory um, that there were talks about bringing a similar kind of um, style which they also show with the Titanic of course of Honor and Glory but based on the shipwreck of the SS Atlantic and we have one already about the sinking of the HMS Britannic but not one of the SS Atlantic, a game or a simulation which we can experience. Um, so I would like the idea, but again, it needs to be done right. It needs to be done with a lot of research and um, it can take its time, which I would vouch or which I would support 100%. Jim. I enjoy the live chats, Jamie. You do a great job. Thank you so much, Jim. I do my best again. Um, English is not my first language, so um, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit cluttered. Um, but I wanted to make this live stream because, of course, we ship enthusiasts. We know the SS Atlantic, or many of us do. But there are so many that don't. And, of course, besides the amazing video of uh, Tom Linsky, I wanted to um, honor the passengers who died uh, with this live stream. So I hope I'm uh, honoring them. When will this live stream end? I don't know who is Center Gaming. Uh, we are running for food almost half an hour. Um, so I don't know uh, when this stream will end, but of course we are honoring the uh, passengers of the SS, La SS Atlantic. Um, so yes, on to um, the third book I have. And this is a smaller one. Um, this is called Disaster at Sea. Um, this is basically a book about all kinds of shipwrecks and of course Titanic is uh, in front um, but again it's about all kinds of shipwrecks uh, in storms as you can see in collisions uh, on the Atlantic and um, the SS Atlantic she has a chapter as well in this book uh, which is at I believe um, Oh no, I gotta look again. Oh my god. Yes, on page 39. My god. Uh, there's a chapter about the SS Atlantic on perch, page uh, 39. Uh, again, the ship talks about all kinds of shipwrecks. And uh, the SS Atlantic, she has a chapter as well. Um, which is quite amazing. Um, by the way, I've actually read all of these books, of these books, or most of them. Um, so I will leave a book review, of course, on this channel. Uh, so you can buy it yourself and you can know what to expect uh, when you buy this book. Um, eight people still in this chat. Thank you so much. For still sticking around with a guy who doesn't talk very good English. Uh, you don't know how much it means to me. Um, so yes. If we move on to the uh, final book. And this is quite a new book. Um, this book is called Atlantic's Last Stop. Uh, Courage, Folly and Lies in the White Star Line's Worst Disaster Before Titanic. This book is again um, written by Bob Chalk, who 
wrote the book, the first book that I show you, uh, showed you. And he made the second one about the disaster. Uh, of course, with so much more and new information that we actually know about the uh, disaster of the Atlantic. Um, and this book, again, is quite new. Um, this book released in 2021. Uh, so if we go to the back, uh, in the pre-dawn hours of April the 1st, 1873, as the lockout locked, locked, the steerman steered and the captain slept, something was happening on the SS Atlantic. The tide had quietly carried the White Star Line ocean liner 12 miles of course, and land was closer than anybody realized, or was willing to believe. The wreck of the SS Atlantic would become the worst transatlantic passenger ship disaster before the Titanic. And although it happened almost 150, 150 years ago, there are so many unanswered questions. That is changing. Ten years after co-authoring the most celebrated book to date on the Nova Scotia's worst shipwreck, author Bob Chalk has uncovered never reported information that answers the question historians have been grappling with over a century. Why did a state-of-the-art steamship with all equipment in perfect working order in good weather and commanded by officers of the world's leading seafaring nation strike rocks outside Halifax and sink, resulting in terrible deaths? And now we know. Again, Atlantic's last stop. I haven't read this one, but... I shall read it soon, and I'm extremely hyped um, to begin. So, yes. Um, so, that sounded right. Read. Again, a must-have. Uh, so, let's see what chat is saying. Let me get my phone. Uh, Mr. S I don't know how to pronounce your pronounce your name. But he says your English is way better than my Dutch or Italian. Thank you so much. So history inside a nutshell says I know the HVX Studios and Part Time Explorer did a lifetime sinking video of the SS Atlantic in twenty twenty one. They did. They did. You are right, uh, Francis. You are right. So, um, yes, these are the books that I have about the uh, SS Atlantic. James. Your English is good and perfectly easy to understand. You have nothing to be embarrassed for. Thank you for giving us these great presentations. Presentations. Thank you so much, uh, James, for watching. My second screen, it keeps lagging, so I don't know if everything is in working order. But uh, yes, indeed, Francis, like you said, um, there is a, uh, a video about the SS Atlantic sinking in real time. Let me find it so I can show you. Excuse me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Lifetime sinking. Yes, indeed. Here it is. The SS Atlantic sings in real time. Um, so, 
it shows you the, ni the narration and uh, the sinking of the ship. Now again, this was the model, uh, the older model, the older model, sorry, of uh, the ship. Again, this one is uh, the newest version of the story. Thank you so much, Francis. And also, thank you so much, Jim. It's, it's not that I'm embarrassed, but sometimes... I don't know. Maybe I am sometimes embarrassed, but thank you so much for these kind words, because they mean the word to me. So, um, yes. We are nearing the end of our stream. And then we would have had almost a full hour, if I'm correct. Yes. So, um, what I would, what I would love, love, um, when it comes to the SS Atlantic, is again um, a video game or a simulation where we can actually experience uh, the sinking of uh, the ship for ourselves. Um, it would be so cool or cool. It would be interesting to witness. That is a, that's the word I'm trying to uh, to say. Um, and what I would like to see as well when it comes to the SS Atlantic is a documentary or perhaps maybe a movie about uh, the disaster. I will go to build a SS Atlantic in Minecraft. You should. You should. Um, if we look on internet, are there some new articles when it comes to the Atlantic? Um, I go. Oh yes, here. The uh, global, no, what is it? Global News. They made an art article about um, the Atlantic. Quite interesting. So, is there anything new? Just basically talking about uh, her life and her sinking. Yes. Well, uh, what I would also love to visit, guys. I don't know um, if you have ever been, but I would love to visit the SS Atlantic Museum. I've, ne I've never been. I wanted to volunteer my talents as a digital model maker, maker, model maker, uh, but I'm a noob. Um, don't worry. I can't model. I can't model myself, um, and I'm not the best at editing. So um, no shame, no shame. Minecraft SS Atlantic would be amazing. Maybe you should could make a video of when you're finished. Indeed, and uh, Derek, please let us know. We will be happily uh, touring the liner. So, yes, my friends, I think I will end the stream right here. It's a uh, shorter stream than normal. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you all so much for joining me on this uh, stream about the SS Atlantic, because this ship deserves so much more attention. Um, I don't think that many actually know the vessel. So, again, she deserves more attention. Um, Mr. Suk... <laughs> again, sorry, your name. Which of the book has the best blueprints? Um, there aren't... If I recall any blueprints 
in this book that I possess. Um, give me one small moment, because I will look for you. Both models, says historic history inside a nutshell, were done by HVX Studios, but I'm not sure if they if it were if it was set up by Tom Linsky after he left the Titanic Honor and Glory or he joined as part of the com company. I don't know myself. Um, I could look very quickly uh, right here in this book um, if there are any blueprints. Um, I don't know if you could count this as a blueprint. But, um, there is a print right here. Yeah. Can you see it? No. All oh, right, yes. My God. Uh, there is a blueprint right here about, uh, about the ship. But I don't know if it's an official blueprint. But that's the only blueprint that I uh, possess. So, again guys, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, shorter stream. But I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me. Uh, I certainly loved spending uh, my evening with you guys and hanging with the community. Um, I intend or I will try to do more live streams uh, because I highly enjoy talking with you guys in a chat and seeing your views on so many things. So more live streams will definitely come uh, as well that uh, there is a special kind of vlog video in the works behind the scenes um i'm talking with the shipping line who actually owns the ship um but i will not spoil too much but just expect that that special video will be kind of a vlog um but i'm very happy to make that one and show it to you guys um so for the final time thank you so much for joining me on the stream as we have remembered and talked about the ss Atlantic. Um, as well, my friends, if you haven't, um, be sure to check out the latest video about the story of the uh, SS Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse. Uh, a story which is quite tragic as well. Be sure to check that one out. And um, if you have any friends who like ocean liners or ships, please show them my channel. That would help out very much. Um, and of course, uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the description as well. And please leave me or leave me. Let me know what uh, videos you would like to see in the future. So again, guys, thank you all so very much for joining me on this live stream. Uh, I wish you all a good night or day wherever you are. And uh, let us never forget this tragic story of the SS Atlantic. Thank you all so very much for hanging with me. And have a good night or day. Goodbye, my friends. See you on the next one.